John. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. All right. Hello, welcome back to Jurassic World Aftermath Episode 2. We're doing another really long video series of long videos, um, which is really bad for my analytics because uh, of really low average view duration. No idea why. Uh, so yeah, let's just pick up where we left off in the last episode. I think we just made it back to the ops room. Okay, so here we are back in the last ep from the last episode. We tried to we crashed on Nublar and we tried to send a signal to Lockwood Manor, but it didn't work because there's no power, so now we have to go to the power plant. Hopefully I fixed the audio. I know the mic volume was way too quiet last time, and there's not a way to turn it up on the Oculus, so I tried turning down the main game audio, so maybe that'll help. Okay, ready when you are. I was not able to fix the turning. There's something wrong with the controllers in my Oculus, where if I turn on strafing, it thinks I'm always strafing and will send me like flying off to one side really fast but um so it makes it quite a lot harder to turn uh but we're just gonna have to do the best we can so yeah here we go from the ops room heading to the power plant I think this is where we're heading, residence, yep. All right. This is a very fun game. Residence and dining. Residence, welcome to my entire late 20s. The elevator is in the security room, past the help desk. You'll find it. Yeah, there's definitely a raptor in here. All right, where are we heading? I'm gonna try to turn on that microphone so we can head for that table. Hopefully we can head out through here? Yes, okay. All right, I'm gonna probably be overusing this thing when I'm supposed to just sneak around, but um, I don't wanna be waiting too long, so I'm just gonna turn that on. We probably could've gone farther. All right, I'm gonna get that microphone again, head that way. Which raptor do we have? Last time we only had the green raptor. And, oh, we got the orange one, my least favorite. He's not particularly smart, and he's not the one who has a grudge on you. You know, this game feels kind of long when you're playing it over the course of a few weeks, but the fact is that this story takes place all in one night, and your character's doing this whole thing just all at once. Go, 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 go. That was close. I think we're good, though. All right, really hope there's something to turn on over here. This room is actually pretty easy since there's so much stuff to activate. Uh, you know, it feels like he should be able to see me here, but uh, one of the files on the computer explains... It, I mean, obviously, it's just because the AI would be really hard to make, but one of the computer files gives a reason. All right, perfect. Alright, I don't actually know if the raptor can come in here, but, um, this is where we're supposed to go, right? Ah, uh, we need the password, don't we? Ah, crap, what's the pin? <sighs> Maintenance changed their codes monthly. They sent an email. Check the terminals over in residence. Maybe the VI assist will find something. Let's try turning on this one. I'm not going to turn on all the computers, because that would take a long time. Uh, but when it's convenient like this. Yeah, these are the ones I was talking about in their 
raptor behaviors. Something really cool that they did, all the computers in the game have the... Evacuation notice. This might be a bad idea. Do I want him to come in here? I don't know where he is. Because you know, he might be right there. Oh, I can hear him walking this way. Is this open? Yeah. Alright, this is not safe at all. Yeah, he's right there. Okay, um, I'm talking too quiet again. It's very hard to do this without strafing. Oh, the mic. All the microphones are just out of reach. Okay, I think we have to turn on that. Well, oh, I think you may have seen us. Ooh, that was close. Oh, no, it wasn't. Okay. Never mind. Wow, it's very hard to do this when I can't turn to the side. I can only turn in a straight line. It's very hard to adjust where you're going. Uh oh. No, he did not see this. That was ridiculous. <laughs> you know, sometimes the explanations they give make sense, and sometimes it's just kind of very silly. Ah. I can turn on that one, but it's no good. Okay, I'm going now. Oh, that really looks like the Rex, because it's... That literally is the Rex model that they have in this game. Um, that's actually its head. We want to go? Yeah, I think we'll go for it. I remember this. He comes straight in here. Yeah, I can hear him walking right this way. Ooh, good thing I didn't go. I'm sure this is very dull narration. Wait, did that raptor just change? Oh, I wasn't looking. Was that the blue raptor? What? Why? No way, he just went in that next room, didn't he? Okay, I guess we have to turn that on. Yeah, it's the blue raptor. Alright, so we're gonna have to do that again. Okay, yeah, the raptor just changed. I guess they were both in there. I think it actually is just a random one for this level. These sort of in-between levels that aren't important to the story. This raptor is probably very confused because he's, he's been in here for years and the microphones have never done this before. Whew, that was close. The music activated so I know he was coming in here. Alright, um, yeah, we'll go into Residence B. Because that's where it says to go. Um, you know what, I think we can make it. Sure. Uh-oh, is it still recording? Go, 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 go! Ooh, that was close. I think we're good. Okay, uh, which way do we go? Search terminals. I guess that's these rooms? Alright. Yeah, yeah, I remember this room. Ooh, 
Ooh, that was so close. Oh yeah, we're dead. We're dead. He's gonna get us, isn't he? Okay, he's gonna leave us alone. Okay, we're good. Oh, do I have to sign back in? Okay, so I think the second we turn it on, he's gonna come in here and try to eat us. That is very annoying. I guess we could try turning on the microphone out there if he opens the door. Yes, excellent. Okay, back to the help desk. Okay, uh, we should have gone for the locker, but I think we're good in here for now. I have no idea how long that one lasts. I don't think we're safe here. Should've gone. This game really picks up your heart rate. Come on. Oh, he's so gonna see us. Oh, it's so slow. The walking is so slow. Horrible. Oh, he's right there. I want to just grab his tail. Pull him under the table. Alright, so we're going back that way. Alright, please go back in that room. Don't leave. Why is he not going? Alright, it's better to turn those on when they're close to them, and not wait a bajillion years like I did. Okay, he heard us run, because the second you start running they hear you, but I think we're safe in here. It's okay, as long as we're not near the edge of the table we're fine, he'll give up in a second, because he doesn't want to crawl under here, it won't work. But they do know we're here now. Which doesn't actually make them better, but in universe it does. Alright, please. Alright, three, two, one, let's go. As long as we don't run, I think we're good. We might be right here in here again. I think it's back to the lobby. Yes. Wow, they are everywhere really fast. Okay. Uh, what are names for the raptors? I forgot what the names I came up with last year. Um, we had... They were named after the... Because it's the NMS Center. Nublar Maintenance Service. I don't know. But, um... Anyway. We named them, each one for a letter. There was Mike, Sierra, and... Oh, because they were all, um... Military alphabet, like... Blue Delta Charlie Echo. Yeah. I don't remember what the third one was, though. I know the green one was Mike, and the blue one was Sierra, but I don't remember the name for the orange one. No, the orange one was Mike. Yeah, okay, please go in there. That is where I'm going, but at least I can safely pass through this room and not have you guys just sitting here for an hour. Close the door. Come on. Okay. Ooh, that was close. Let's listen for the door. Alright, we don't have long. Whew. How did I not see this vent before? This is actually really helpful. <laughs> I wish I'd known this was here. Okay, I know I'm going the wrong way, but this should still 
loop back around. Yes. Okay. Oh, aren't we supposed to, like, collect the plushies that are hidden everywhere, right? Something like that. I don't remember where they all are. Or any of them, actually. I don't remember. Oh, this is a cool little model. I don't want to stand up because there's a raptor right there, but you can see it. We have the Jurassic World. All right. Oh. Yep, the music's on. Here he comes. Everything I can turn on is just out of range except that microphone right behind me, which would obviously not be a smart thing to do. Sorry I'm spending so much time hiding behind tables. I'm sure it's not very entertaining for you guys because you can't even see what's going on. But you would, you see, I would like to not lose the game, so... This is what we're doing now. Yeah, these raptors, they explain that, like, the way they modified them made them really bad at, like, doing anything. Which is why they can't smell you or anything. Oh, gosh. Shoot, I did not know he was right there. I think we kind of got to do the microphone, right? Is he going? No, is he just standing right there outside the room? That is very annoying. Alright, I'm gonna turn it on. Where is he? Is he gone? Are we good? Okay, I think I'm gonna go. Just for safety, I'm just sort of staying on the ground. I think he probably- Oh my gosh, did you see that? What was that? Okay, there's no way. Is he coming in here? Yeah, we should have gone. I'm going. Whew. Okay, we're not safe in here, but we ain't gonna see us. Please open. I just put that in, didn't I? There we go. Ah, cool. Map. Okay. Sure. I am pretty sure we are safe. But we do still have a locker, so maybe not. I'm really bad at those back and forth ones. Oh, yes. This is where we have the cool Dr. Wu file. Okay, I know the raptors don't come in here, so... He really likes making noise, though. Okay. While we wait, That's there's another recording I need you to hear. I'm not proud, but... I'm not proud. Behavioral Genomics Review, July 7th, 2014. Where would you like to begin? Incubation. Thursday. Mesrani was standing right there. Simon has a very tight schedule. I didn't want to distract him. What, with an introduction? A handshake? My name, maybe? He loves our work. The whole department shown. Why does it matter? I deserve it! My work on non-coding identifiers was exceptional. It's supposed to be. This isn't a science fair. Exceptional should be the benchmark. The innumerable projects I manage they form a paradigm shift in mankind's understanding of the natural world. But you want what? A parade for doing your job? Some recognition. Then here it is. Behavioral Genomics Review, July 7th. Where would you like to begin? Was I really asking for the world? Oh, timing. 
very cool. We got Dr. Wu, the best character in the franchise. This is a very shaky elevator. I'm not trying to frighten you. Just to say... Yes, you are. If we can do this, we can get through anything. Oh, yes, um... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. Let's get this over with. Because who doesn't want to get eaten? The good thing is, I don't think the raptors can get down here, if I remember correctly. So, um, we, we can run. I mean, a literal floor plan. Try the computer. This is just, the whole level design is so cool, and uh, really reminds me of like, I don't know exactly what year of Jurassic stuff, I don't know, maybe like a little before Jurassic World came out. <laughs> it looks so cool. Um, you know, of course I would l have liked it if they went with the more serious um, design okay, of the, but obviously... Started. There's Andrew. very good reasons they didn't do that. One being this budget, and two being they don't want to give players actual heart attacks, so... Um, they had to settle for this. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, this is gonna... S oh, I remember this. Because I made a short on this that I deleted, because this just sounds really cool. Oh, this looks so cool. This game is so cool. If you if you have a headset, definitely recommend this game. All right. Haha. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. Oh, no, come on. Why is it low battery? I just turned it on. Okay, I like the glowing gloves. Um, something about this reminds me of the Telltale game, which I actually haven't played, but I've watched, like, playthroughs of it. Um, and that sort of era of Jurassic, that's what I was talking about before. That's not ideal. Try maintenance. It's a detour, but you can make it. Oh, wow, I really do not like this. <laughs> Thankfully, um, this is not as bad, having already played the game. I know what's in here and how they act so um it's not as terrifying but this is a true horror game but it's so fun <laughs> i really wish they do more games in this genre uh which hopefully jurassic park survival will sort of follow that i almost would like obviously i'd like to have the jurassic park one but i think jurassic world era might even be i mean tablet's dying if I cut out, just... You know what? Forget it. Keep going. It might be better for this. Ooh, I hear footsteps. We've got an aminal down here. Come on, why is the flashlight low battery? I just turned it on. He just walked by right here. Oh, this is so cool. I really want more levels of stuff like this. I hope we have stuff like this in Jurassic Park Survival. A, uh, Isla Sorna type game. Like a, um, Trespasser styled, but VR or just PC, but modern would be so cool. And this kind of thing is like a big part of why I love the Jurassic franchise. This aesthetic here that's so hard to recreate well and is. Especially in the Jurassic World era, they didn't really know how to do the jungle situations, and they didn't do their underground stuff like this very often, um, which was kind of a disappointment for me. So, yeah, this is really special, um, and it's so cool. Okay, I'm going to stop talking about how cool this is. Ah! It's a dillo. Find water. Wash it off fast. Water, the water, pipe. water. Throw the handle. 
Where? I don't see a pipe. Oh, there we go. What? Work. I'm about to die. Blah. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. We are not about to be killed by a dillo anymore. Okay, um, so yeah, it makes sense for the Dylos because they live. If they spit again, find a pipe, open the valve, and wash it off immediately. It's a neurotoxin. Oh, and they don't like the light. Anyway, that's why they live down here because they're nocturnal. Every time we see the Dylos in Jurassic, are an ambush predator. they'll scatter if they're detected. Except in Camp Cretaceous, they actually follow this rule of not liking light and being nocturnal. Which is very cool. Um, I think if they were out in the day, this light wouldn't bother them as much because they'd be used to it. But uh, what's in here? Oh, we got a pipe. Okay, if we die, we gotta remember where that is. It's kind of hard to tell where you are in here as opposed to uh, the other areas because. All right, we're definitely getting a dialo there. Oh, they're fast. Okay, I like the Dilo colors, though, um, because it's so dark, and it's kind of hard to tell where you are. Where do we go? They're not as scary as the raptors, but the environment in here is so cool. This is where I'd like a uh, Jurassic Park the game Trodon, please. Okay, that shutter leads to the turbine. <sighs> Something got into the mechanism... Try the engineer's bay up ahead. They've got to have replacement parts. Of course. Um, I think I'm going to go this way. Yeah, we can't get through there. Oh, come on. That's the piece we need, isn't it? It's in the light, and it looks like... Uh, yeah, okay. We just have to get around there. <laughs> this whole underground expanse thing is so cool. Um, you know, it would be kind of neat if... Uh, What's the name? The guy who does the animations. Ali Awada. Yeah. Where is he? Oh. Oh, that was close. They can be in the ceilings. Okay, um. Wow, I really would like to congratulate whoever did the level design on this game. And the guy who did the soundtrack, whose name I can't remember. He was in the credits, and I talked to him about the soundtrack a little bit on YouTube. But he's unable to publicly release it because Universal owns it, and they, okay, there's a pipe, for some reason, don't want to release this, they don't want to release this game, um, sorry, this game soundtrack, and uh, I don't know why, because it's really fabulous, I'm thinking of just recording it from the game with, after, right after I do this playthrough, um, since I'll know where pretty much everything is, it'll be fresh on my mind, I can do a playthrough with no music, sorry, with no sound effects and no other audio, um, which means I won't be able to hear when the raptors are coming, but it will mean ooh, I can record the music, and then uh, I can put it on YouTube, uh, which technically Universal owns it, but it's not in the YouTube audio library, and they've been given plenty of time to do it themselves. Uh-oh, it says I'm not recording. Am I recording? Okay. Sorry there. I was, said it wasn't recording for a second. Yeah, ah. The dialogues look very cool. Um. Ooh, here's the room, right? Yep. Okay, let's go. I kind of wish we could just, like... Come on, how hard would it be? Oh, that that's a concrete brick. But to push over these shelves. You know, if the dialogues could do it. I feel like we could. Yeah, I am so sad that this game is now soft cannon. Um, I refuse to accept this. Because it's very cool. <laughs> I really want them to make a part three, or I know they won't, but... More Jurassic VR, please. It's so fun. And, um... It would be so cool if, like, the team who made this could be brought back to make another game, even if it wasn't a Jurassic World Aftermath game, uh, it would be very fun. 
What happens if I go in the vents when the Dilos spawn? I guess... No, they never spawn on the ground ones, do they? This way. Okay, there's probably going to be a guy in the ceiling. We got to open that door. That should lead us straight back. Oh, that was luck. I did not know where he was. Um, it says to go back that way, but I want to see what this is. Okay. I would like a game of just this. It's so cool. And we get a little more of the underground tunnel stuff in part two of the game, which um, if you're thinking about buying this, it is a two-parter game. You have to buy the main part for standard game price and then additionally pay for part two, which I think is like $10, $15. It's better than the first part, I think. Uh, and as long, additional like four and a half hours. But it's... Yeah, it's kind of... They didn't, I don't think they properly advertised that it was going to be two parts when they first made the game. I do think it's worth that price, though. Um, although, to be fair, most people probably wouldn't want to replay this game. I mean, I, even if you enjoyed it, I feel like most people wouldn't come back to it. It's okay. You're almost at the turbine. And once the power's on, we'll be fine. It says, uh, before activation, first restore... Pressure, okay. Okay. I would like a game like this with more interactive objects and a little more dynamic open world. Check the master gauge. The master gauge. The system's through the floor. Yeah, it you is. want the vapor regulation room. Close by. Alright, are we gonna have more dillos? Maybe this looks so gauges. cool. Look around for anything you can tighten by hand. Valves or... Alright, maybe we can get some valves Try to get the here. pressure yep. up. Ooh. We do have dillas again. I feel like as soon as I turn around, he would just come back in like two seconds. But they need some way to be able to stop them, so... There will be others. Keep looking. Where's that? Four. Okay. Is this level isn't too hard as long as you properly scan where you are and move kind of slow. That way you know where all the vents are so you can scare the dilos. Ah! Uh oh, there's no pipe in here, is there? Please. No, we're gonna die, aren't we? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We're about to die. Yep. I'm already walking really slow. Ah, uh, is this going to be our first death in the game? I think so. Where is he? Oh! He actually didn't get us. Why, are, why is this poison not working? I feel like this is a glitch or something. Ah, pipe. Did that work? Oh, okay. Wow, we had an incredibly long time to get rid of that. See, I remember it taking like 10 seconds after you get hit. Like it actually blinds you pretty much immediately. Maybe that was a glitch. I don't know, has anybody else encountered that glitch? By the way, who of you have played this game? I just want to know, because I know it was not very popular, even though it's super good. Um, obviously it could have a longer story. Okay, one more. But it has a very good story, too, especially the ending. Alright, I know we already walked past it. Okay, there's the first one. Okay, so they do come out of the ground vents occasionally. So what happens if I just sit in that vent? Will they just instantly eat me? I kind of want to try it out, but I'm also trying to do this no deaths, so I don't think we will. Oh, I can hear it. It's over here somewhere. The red light is very cool. Uh, a Lost World game. In 
this style would be very fun. Imagine just like being in the trailers and stuff and exploring uh, the abandoned Sorna. Very, very cool. Obviously that would be a huge endeavor and I don't think VR consoles have the processing power for that yet. Done. Get back to the cages. Uh, but, you know, maybe in 10 years, 5 years even? Probably more like 10 years because, you know, I feel like headsets will have be powerful enough in 5 years, but I also got to make the game if that'll even be happening. You know, there's not a lot of fan-made projects on VR, uh, especially with, you know, what was that? Universal shutting down literally everything because of Jurassic Park survival. Um, which, you know, I'm not optimistic about its release date. I was thinking it's probably not going to be till next year. But then when you think about how long they've been shutting down the fan projects, like so strenuously that it doesn't even make logical no, sense. Uh, gently nudge them into the green. It just pressure gauges where. It makes me think that it has not. Oh, here we go. It, they've been working on this game for a very long time. Ah, this is interesting. Oh, he tried to get us. Our lights happened to already be where he was. You know, I feel like the lights, the thing that would work on the dialos for the first five times. And then they'd be like, okay, we're not scared of this anymore. way too high. The outflow must be clogged. Condenser. Sorry, this font. Take the elevator. Follow the signs. You know, the Dilo is actually in the... They'd actually be like, okay, you're actually in our nest now. We're not bothered by this light anymore. We're going to actually eat you. I don't care. Um, uh, button sideways. Okay, very wobbly elevator again. Super dark. Oh, you know, it would be so cool if, like, obviously this would be really hard to do for this game. Dilo just drops through the ceiling and eats you. I think that the lack of popularity of this game maybe is what kept Universal from making the game we wanted for so long oh because you know they tried this and they were like oh people are asking for it but it didn't actually do well so we're not gonna make that oh we have these bioluminescent mushrooms that show up in the game every now and then they're super cool oh this is gross you know i wish they did more like collectibles and stuff and made this game a little more interactive that should drain whatever's backed up it would of course be helpful if they improved the AI some, but Ah oh, girls. Throw them all. It'll drain faster. That'll take a minute. Listen, since we're on the home stretch, you should know how Dr. Wu and I left things two years ago. I owe you that much. Here. It's the last recording. May 30th, 2015. This is a short meeting to establish facts. Oh wow, Dr. right Henry before Jurassic Dr. Amelia fell. Everett attending. Sorry. The allegation is that on May 23rd, you met with Simon Masrani in defiance of the express instruction of your manager. Any response? For the mic, please. No. Okay. The board will look into any misconduct and be in touch if this proceeds to disciplinary. Fine. We're done? Yes, we're done. No, actually, we're not done. I want an explanation. It was a pitch meeting. Simon Masrani wants carnival attractions to impress the masses. He understands neither the nuance nor implication of what I'm trying to accomplish. The damage could be irreparable. To this lab? To the board's whole perception of what- There it is! Perception. <laughs> How everyone sees you. I must have been crazy. When was there ever room at Jurassic World for anyone except Dr. Wu and his black hole of an ego? I don't understand. When you started, there was none of this entitlement. You didn't know my name. I don't know anyone's name. But I recognize your talent. I gave you my time and a place on my team. What do you want me to say? That other people matter. That we made a difference to this park. That I made a difference. But you can't. Unbelievable. That's right, sneer and walk out, like always. Whoops. Guess you heard that. Entitlement. Despite everything, he treated me like... You know what? It doesn't matter. At least the water's clearing up. Find the stop valve. 
He is very. Oh, there we go. He is very Doctor Wu. Um, they're both kind of wrong. Back to the turbine. Let's get you out of there. It's very cool. I've, have I said that yet? <laughs> I'm talking too quiet again. You guys can't even hear me. Probably. Hopefully, I fixed the mic. I already said that. But you know, I gotta talk the whole time, and I'm not cutting out parts of this video. I'm just playing the whole game. So you can sort of walk through it with me for people who don't have a headset, but I think Jurassic World's pretty cool. Um, the light has gotten smaller, I think. Oh. Shit, 1%. You're almost there. Just oh, find no. the master switch. Restart the generator. We're about to lose contact. We'll have no one to tell us what to do. Oh, a river. Oh, you could do some very cool stuff with that. This has given me all sorts of ideas for, like, prehistoric kingdom parks. Oh, imagine... Okay, we can't really do this yet. But, um, once it's finished, I could do a very cool, uh, like, oh, horror experience in prehistoric kingdom. Something underground, you know? There's some really cool... We could actually, like, build stuff like this. Uh oh no flashlight. Oh... Eggshells. We are in the nest. Uh oh. Come on, why, why the vents? We know what's gonna happen. Haha. <laughs> we got battery. Power. Okay. It lives. Sam, I wish you could see this. My bunker's lit up like Times Square. My tablet's charging and everything. Get back to the ops room. Get safe. I'll set up the private channel from here. Finally. Some actual luck. If the raptors are in the labs right now, they're probably very confused because we also have the power turned on to the labs right now. Okay, I think once we get back to the ops room, I mean, we have to go through a bunch of raptor levels, so I'm not gonna do a little bit of an exit yet. Okay, which way did we come in from? Right here? I don't actually remember. I don't think we have to worry about the dilos, since there's no, um, since there's a light, they're probably all hiding. But thankfully, it looks like most of the ed eggs that hatch, so they'll probably just move somewhere else on the islands. Actually, they only have to move somewhere else for like a day because we're going to leave and then the power's going to run down because it's still on the backup generator. It would be nice if we got a little bit of outdoor time, but obviously you can see why we didn't since um, you need to be able to... Uh, once you're outside, you, there's like pretty hard to limit where you go and then it would be essentially open world and that would not be the kind of game that this is because money all right ready to face the raptors again a lot of people complain in this game that there's just that there's too many raptor levels i think that's the point you know you got to have like your standard gameplay what's the game if it doesn't have sort of branding gameplay. Oh yeah, we got a raptor right there. I really hope the raptors can't come in here. Okay, that was really easy. Um, we're heading back to the ops room, and I think that'll be the end of this episode. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. This is probably releasing on tomorrow, from when I'm recording this, Sunday. So, 
yeah, um, I'd watch the first part in the series first. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and bye.